Welcome to the Abundaculture channel. The Bible provides pathways to abundance. God is pleased when we succeed abundantly and share generously. Abundaculture uses the family homestead as a platform to provide five basic needs. Affordable housing, renewable energy, clean water, healthy food, and safe sanitation. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out our Abundaculture.org website and download our free training manual. Hello, Abundaculture people. I've been getting lots of letters about the composting toilets. Lots of great questions, and I appreciate that. If you want me to answer your questions quickly, just email me. Use my direct email address instead of going through YouTube. But I'm going to answer several of the questions that I've been getting, and a lot of them have been the same question. And that is, do you have to separate the urine from the feces? In the sawdust toilet that we describe on our Abundant Culture channel, which is uh, a bucket and using sawdust, no, you do not have to separate the urine and feces. Another question, if I don't separate the urine and feces, can I use the compost in my garden? Yes with caveats. You can certainly use the compost in your garden. I have used the compost with the urine and feces for the last 20 years and it works wonderfully. You actually need the urine in there. Urine turns to ammonia and ammonia is a very good source of fertilizer. So yes you can. The caveat is you must compost that for one complete year. One complete year. I see all kinds of YouTube presentations that tell you about how you can do your compost much more quickly. That is a bad idea if you are going to use your compost in the garden. If you're going to put it around trees, that's a different matter. But in the garden, I need a whole year so that I am absolutely sure that I will have safe compost that's not going to make me sick. So that's all explained in our previous YouTube presentations, but I want to remind you of that because it's very important. The reason that people are separating the urine from the feces is they are using the toilet itself as the compost pile. In other words, they're leaving waste in the house, in the bucket, for a long period of time. That's a bad idea. That doesn't work. I've never seen it work. That's why I recommend the sawdust toilet with the compost pile. We empty that bucket as needed and for the two of us that was about every five days or so. It's about a one minute process. You dump the bucket, you rinse the bucket out with soapy water, you get a clean bucket, you leave the other bucket out to air, you put the new bucket in and you're done. It couldn't be easier. It's also a big advantage if you have a whole bunch of people come over to your house. If you're using the kind of fancy schmancy compost toilets where you have cranks and vents and fans, unfortunately, it will not handle a whole bunch of people at once. So if you have five or six people over for dinner and they stay for a while, then you've got a huge mess on your hands. Whereas with the composting toilet that we suggest, just the five gallon bucket in a nice container, then you simply take out that bucket, empty it, put a new one in, and you're good to go. Folks, you're making this too hard. It's simple, it works, you don't have to worry about it. So just relax, follow our instructions. We've done it for 20 years. We're not telling you something that we haven't experienced. We've made all the mistakes known to man you don't have to worry about it if you just follow our instructions. So I hope that makes it easier for you. If you have any other questions about anything that you see on our YouTube presentations, we really enjoy hearing from you. Keep your eyes on the sky and your hand in the dirt. See you soon. sand when these things are touched by
by the master's hand, then our lives turn into mountains.